Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, this is going to be a somewhat get ready with me and I was inspired to do a blue smoky eye when I saw Kim Kardashian and Mario's new palette. Unfortunately, I don't have it on hand because it's quite expensive and I don't need to really purchase the palette. Instead, I am going to create a look based on the eyeshadow palette, specifically the blue eyeshadow. So I found this LA Colors eyeshadow palette that I had from last year and I'm going to use this blue shade right here and I've already swatched it on my hand and this is what it looks like. It's not as blue as the KKW by Mario palette. In fact, it kind of comes off as a aqua blue, but we can work with it. I am going to start off with a primer and I'm going to use the ordinary high adherence silicone primer. I am actually going to let the primer sit and then we're going to move on to our eyes first. So what I'm going to do to get that really clean cut is to apply tape on the sides of my eyes which i've only ever done once but i figured since we're doing a look why not i'm going to apply my concealer as a base and to set the concealer i am going to use this shade right here from the Kat Von D shade and light eye palette i'm just quickly gonna use a flat brush i think i am going to do somewhat a cool transition because i want the blue to be able to pop i am going to first use this shade right here and apply that on my crease and with the same brush i am going to use the shade right here mainly focus that on the outer part of the eye to build up the color with a smaller brush i think i'm going to use this shade right here and pack that on in the inner corner and kind of go in the crease as well To add a little bit of warmth, I'm going to use the shade right here on the fluffy brush and kind of blend everything. So it's looking a little bit messy but we'll fix that. And with the same shade, I'm going to go back and deepen the outer V a little bit more. And I think I am going to apply the shade right here in the inner part of my eye. but not too intense and then I'm gonna go and use the shade right here to blend everything with this shade right here I am going to use this shade which is a little bit cooler and kind of and then I am gonna go and cut my crease with the concealer again to make the eyeshadow pop so I'm going to concentrate that in the middle part of my eye and use a teeny tiny brush we are going to take this blue shade right here with the same brush because it already has a concealer so chances are it will stick to our eyes better so I want that eyeshadow to pop a little bit more so I think I am going to use this white shade right there and pat that just in the middle yes and then i am going to blend everything so the product kind of blended out as i was blending it so we're going to pop on more but I'm pretty much happy with that. So I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this shade right here. And blend it a little bit so we don't get that harsh line. For foundation today, I am going to use the Thin Lizzy Flawless Complexion Foundation. And I am in the shade... Hula. So I did a review on this foundation using the corresponding applicators but i didn't like it so we'll see how this foundation 
blends using my normal sponge and I'm going to use the same concealer that I used before this is the Mecca Max Life Proof Concealer and I'm going to set my face with the Cody Air Spun loose powder brushing away the excess powder I am going to bronze and highlight with this Wet n Wild Contour Palette So we're going to finish off our highlight and contour in a bit but for under eye area I am going to use this shade right here that we use to blend everything underneath my eyes then this shade right here for the outer corner And then I am going to put a little touch of blue underneath as well just to tie in the look since we're really not going to do much on the lower lash line. So I'll pop it in the middle. For inner corner highlight, I am going to use this shade right here to make it really pop. I'll quickly come back with my mascara and eyeliner on and then we're going to finish off the face. So for blush today, I want a muted look. So I'm going to apply this Essence Silky Touch Blush and this one is in the shade Natural Beauty. And I will clean up the under the contour line a little bit. For highlight today, I am going to use the Sleek. Cleopatra's Kiss and mine's pretty dirty because it's one of my favorite highlighters. So I'm going to mix this shade right here and this shade. This makeup look will look great with um, false lashes but I really want the blue to stand out so I kind of left it and apply lots of mascara and personally I quite like it. Well it's Totally up to you if you want to wear lashes or not, but for me, I'm okay with this. And for lips, I'm going to line my lips with Jordana's Sexy Mauve Lip Liner. And then apply this Maybelline Lipstick in Tora, the collaboration with Gigi Hadid. And set my face with the Australis Finishing Makeup Spritz. And here is my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. You don't have to purchase the palettes that are coming out this year because a lot of us don't really have the money to spend on that kind of stuff. Instead, just look into your makeup collection and you never know, you might find the exact shade or shades that are similar to the palettes that are coming out this year. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and I will catch you on my next video. Bye!